There we go. So I want to give you a little bit of a crash course in uh, string and number formatting, right? Because most of you guys are working on uh, on the uh, two or is it the lesson three? So it, I haven't found a lot of like really. There used to be a lot of really good information on it, and now it's just it's not very good, especially for some of the stuff that I want you to do. Um, so let's say we take in uh, an x value, right? And then that'll be an input, and we'll say, please enter your name. Oops. And that's going to be a string, so we're good with that. And then we'll say, y is, and then let's say, I don't know what I want to put here. Uh, What's your favorite food? Let's go with float, and then uh, we'll say input, and then we'll say what is your favorite decimal? All right. Let's also say that I wanted to print this multiple times and format it. So I'd make a uh, function, I would say print a line, right? And I'd take in two inputs for one and or actually let's go left and right. And so in here I'm going to put my formatting, okay? So I would say uh, let's go print and so for my formatting, what I want to do here is that everything text-based that I'm going to include in that line of text. So if I print something using print a line, everything that I'm going to print goes within these quotes. Okay? If I'm going to format something, I'm going to set up a placeholder for it here. And so let's say I wanted my name and then I wanted to put a bunch of these or even a bunch of these or a bunch of these right I would just put them in line with the text that I was already writing I would just basically you want to write this line as if you were just typing it into Microsoft Word right and then you just set up placeholders for the things that are going to be variable so here I have placeholder. That's going to be the placeholder for my name, right? So then here I would say dot format. And then here, since the first bracket is a placeholder for my name, I'm going to give it the variable for my name, which is left. And then since the second bracket is for my right variable, I would give it the variable for my favorite decimal. Does that make sense? So, first set of brackets, first variable, second set of brackets, second variable, and then if I add a third one, I just comma, third one, and make another set of brackets, right? But, we're not doing that. We're just doing this. So now we want to go over how to do uh, the actual formatting part, right? And all of it is going to start with, uh, with that colon. And what the colon represents in here is basically uh, the leftmost point where the text is going to start, right? So this colon is going to represent the space in the text where I have this space and then the text is going to start here, right? So this colon is where the next bit of text actually starts. Then I can choose if I'm going how I justify the uh, the data that I'm going to put in here. So if I want to justify it right up against that space, I use the left arrow. I can use an up arrow to put it in the middle, and I can put the right arrow if I'm going to put it if I'm going to justify right. Okay. Now I have to determine how many spaces I want this text to take up, right? Let's do 10 apiece. Actually, let's go 15, okay? And 
And this is going to be string data, so it's just going to be 15 characters, and I'm going to leave it alone. This is going to be a float, so I have to tell it total number of spaces that that float number is going to take up, right? Then I have to say, how many decimal places do I want to lock my float to? I can do it anywhere from 0 to 100. I could have 100 million decimal places, right? Probably take up the whole screen and, and some, but I could do that. What I want to do, though, especially if I'm using doing something like a price for something, I'd probably do two decimals because that's what shows up when you do dollar amounts. Is everybody following me so far? And then because it's float data, i got to add this F in here to make it a float. So if I set that up, then I have to actually run this function. So I just type print a line, and I put in x and y for parameters, and I should be able to run this. What I do? Oh, you know what I did? Uh, hang on. Oh, I'm doing Java. There you go, Python. Enter my name. Rough handsome. And my favorite decimal is this dot that. Wow. So it goes here. And the reason, the reason why we have this is because I didn't do any justification. It goes to the left automatically, right? Then I got a big space here because I gave it 15 spaces and I only used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have something under 15, right? So I got three or four spaces left over here because I don't feel like counting it. This has 15 spaces, right? And it's also, uh, that got automatically justified to the right. But if I do this and uh, I run it again, let's do the same number. Let's do the same number over again. And let's run this one more time. Let's just do my name like that. Decimal place, did you see how it moved over to the right? Because the space starts right there. See how it does a space? This colon, right, represents this right here. So how far up against that last character do you want the next one? I could put it in the middle also. Make sense? And then, of course, I can put it all the way to the right. With me so far? So there's a bunch of other different things, like if I wanted to force this to be an integer, right? I could put a D here, and then I'd have to say int here. Same difference. Does anybody have questions on that one so far? Go ahead. I don't understand this part right here. Like, why do you, why do you put, put a line down there? Okay, this part right here is telling, because when you have this, right, when you, you're only defining the function itself. You're saying this is what the function does. Yeah. But you're not actually running it. This is saying, hey, remember that uh, print a line function that I that I defined before? Now I want to run it, and I want to give it these inputs. Okay. 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 